just woke up, man. It's not funny, man. I see dream every night, man. And I remember my dreams, you know what, man? Because, man, in my dreams, man, I learn things, man. New things, man. As soon as you wake up, man, remember something, man. Remember your dream, man, because it's very important, man. For example, man, every morning, man, when I wake up, man, I look at a ring, man. Not this ring, man. I remember this ring, man. Remember your engineering ring, your highest achievement in life, man. Work on this website called uh, Krishna on MEA. So just uh, so you know that I'm what I'm what I'm working on, and this is me, man. A wall around Mauritius, you know, man. It's funny, man, because, man, <laughs> when I go to moon, man, it's gonna be good, man. Krishna, you're prettier than you think, okay? You're actually very pretty, but you just don't see it, okay? It's uh, it's a very long story. But, man, when I speak this like this, man, I'm an unattractive, man. But some of those, man, find it attractive when I sound like this, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. It sounds real, man. When you sound like this, man, especially when you bring your eyebrows down, man. It's not funny, man. It's not funny, man. How can you do this accent, man? In the in this Canadian system, man, this is a very, very e elegant person, man. <laughs> <laughs> In Scarborough, man, I see no gangsters, man. I think the city is becoming worse, my nigga. Man, I'm walking around, man, with no gun, man. I have something so big, man. <laughs> I have a big man. <laughs> so yeah, I'm in Scarborough as you can see. There is a library over here. Uh, I bought a gift for my sister. And uh, so yeah, I'm giving her $400 just in case, you know. I'm gonna show you the beauties of Mauritius. This is so ghetto actually. This has such a good feeling though. Imagine if aliens attack and we have no ammo to attack them back, these creatures are gonna come help us, okay? So yeah, noise, noise, noise. This is so ghetto. So really be careful of how much ghetto-ness you have, okay? You shouldn't be so ghetto, okay? Luxury is better, okay? Unless you are ghetto yourself, then ghetto feels good, okay? Um, in the ghetto, I learned something, okay? That more is less, okay? In the ghetto culture, I understood that the more money you have, the better. But in luxury culture, some of them believe that less is more, okay? When you get your MBA, you realize that everything is reversed almost because less is more. And if you're ghetto, you're watching this video, congratulations. This is something you have to learn that the more, the better, okay? The more, the merrier. Remember that. Man, good vibes, man. When you're fighting the Jews, man, you have to be slow, man. But I'm going quick, quick, man, because, man, my dad is black, man. Man, that makes me black also, man. When your mom is white, man, your dad is black, man, you become like Drake, man. I can't rap, man. But, man, I'm a funny guy. At least I know that, man. I'm not that funny, but, man, I can change minds, man. Because, man, my teacher told me so, man. My teacher told me that one day, man, Krishna, man, you will change minds, man. <laughs> so sitting in Tim Hortons, as you can see, I got a message from Facebook platform that I deactivated my app, man. I don't know, man. This is not funny, man. Man, <laughs> why? Why did you do this, man? Why did you close my app, man? Good vibes, man. Looking at my account here, man. Man, I have this much, 32, man. Apple call me, Gucci me. I made a hundred dollar me. I made a hundred dollar me. Look me. Just chilling, man, nigga. You think it's a joke, me? Government of Canada backing you. Me, me. These buildings are so good, me. I wish I could own one of them, me. Then I would be close to my mom, me. <laughs> this is really ghetto because you're wearing this. Uh, so yeah, close your uh, things. Um, yeah, so today I worked on a few things, uh, melog.network and I worked on ETH Brains, some ideas on how to register a domain uh, because the future is really a war of memory uh, between computers. The AA is very important, AI is also important, 
But AA and memory is really the future war between Japan and America. And I'm designing that game. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned guys. Celebrating my last days in Canada actually. Oh my God, these chicken wings are the best. Scarborough vibes, man. The feeling of a Scarborough, especially at Lawrence Ave, is so cool. I just love this feeling as you can see. It's just uh, the hood, you know. I have a little gangster inside me and uh, yeah, it's just uh, amazing how uh, that little gangster grew too big to be too, too big to fail, okay? So uh, yeah, it's nice, especially that building. I wish I could buy that for my mom. Uh, but yeah, maybe another lifetime, now me and my nigga. The feeling of this room is priceless. I have my two hats as you can see there taking my hats to Mauritius so I can wear my hats that's my chai tea as you can see such a good feeling oh my god making videos for Iran you know my feeling is that I'm gonna become really famous in Iran and I have no idea why but I think it's because of my brain you know and I'm gonna tell you why because of Tim Hortons. I'm gonna tell you why later on. This place is so sacred in my heart, you know, because there are so many quick quicks, my nigga. They run around. The feeling of the Toronto is priceless because Toronto is not gonna die, man. Man, Toronto is in good hands, man. There are businesses that are just falling out of hand. They lost money. The feeling of Toronto being like this in Scarborough is ghetto. So imagine about that feeling. I'm gonna take you to um, to Mauritius next, and I'm gonna show you what ghetto really means. Okay, so keep that in mind. That this channel is really for ghetto people. So if you're luxury, skip this video because it's not gonna come help you. But if you're ghetto, you understand what I mean, me? Don't be so ghetto. Okay, a little bit of ghetto is fun, man. Okay. For example, the feeling of this. This is ghetto. Okay. And this house is in Scarborough. Oh my God, the feeling, man, is great. Putting videos on Apparat.com, as you can see, so I can make sure that YouTube does not remove my videos. Because, man, I'm gonna show you what's ghetto, man. <laughs> man, this accent is so ghetto, man. It's good shit, man. It's good shit, man. This accent is really ghetto, man. <laughs> Chilling in Scarborough a little more. The sunset is beautiful. Just hanging out, $8 haircut guys, $8. You can get a haircut here. In Mauritius, haircut is $4, okay? <laughs> and that's if you pay 100% tip. Oh my God, this ice cream is so good. I paid four and a half dollars for this. In Mauritius, the same ice cream is one fifth of the price. So, I'm not a price guru, I'm a big deal, okay? I'm gonna explain that what, what that means later on. I'm working on this project for Mauritius. And yeah, there is a park over there. As you can see, people are playing basketball. There is another section, there's a library over there. I'm gonna take you to the library if it's open. Look at the feeling of this beautiful park over here. This is supposed to be for childs. There is a mushroom over there. There is this thing I'm gonna take you through here. Not many people can go through here. You have to be a little short. But yeah, there we go. There's a pool. Let's go further and see what, what else we have here in Scarborough. We have Quick Quick, as you can see, squirrels. So beautiful. Let me see how close I can get to it. And this is also ghetto. <laughs> this is so ghetto. <laughs> Oh my God, the ice cream was so good. There's a still snow on the ground. So that's some Canadian life going on. As you can see, kids are playing there. I'm gonna take you to that tree, tree over there, because me and my father used to come here a lot. So I'm gonna take you there and show you some stuff. So yeah, I'm, de I'm deciding uh, how many governments do we have in uh, Canada? How many tiers of government do we have? I think like there are three governments in Canada. <laughs> I don't want to get into politics, but that's what I think. Because uh, Mauritians don't even have a government. 
that's very very difficult to decide i'm gonna show you this tree i used to come you see this is also ghetto this is ghetto and i mean my nigga that's so ghetto but cool um yeah the view is good man chilling at the starbucks actually we made it to some afghan food actually the heart of afghanistan oh yeah airport from toronto scarborough oh my god can't believe i'm gonna be at the airport soon currently at airport in toronto airport pearson pearson airport so i'm gonna go there and come to mauritius guys it's gonna be exciting stuff and this is the feeling of the airport as you can see I'm at Terminal 5, I still have another one to go, so it's pretty nice. So back to the Toronto airport, these aliens, look at them, it's beautiful. I like this uh, structure of uh, Toronto Pearson. Guys, Mauritius is gonna be so awesome. Look how the voice is gonna be, it's awesome. It, it echoes actually. Uh, so my, my gate is E78, let's find it. My office for the next two hours as I'm going to Mauritius working on this my top fans app guys so keep me posted on on the things you want me to get done and yeah let's go to Mauritius from here guys the weather is so good there it's already summer so it's good so at the airport I'm working on this thing so this trip is gonna be about white supremacy and why it's gonna end eventually one day talk about monkey culture in Mauritius, talk about size and talk about Mauritius and how it's really the future of the planet. Mauritius is really the future guys. Um, the story is long, um, I'm gonna explain why Mauritius is really one of the best uh, countries on the earth. On earth. Uh, it's really the best country guys, uh, after Canada though, after Canada. I'm in the zone 5 and that's for zone 1. I'll take my time, I'll take my time. I'm done, I'm going out of the airplane as you can see. London! So guys, I had to switch airport and I ended up paying 155 pounds for taxi. That was a very expensive taxi. That was the most expensive taxi I ever gotten. So yeah, if you come to London, come with a lot of money because they will rip you off, guys. They will rip you off. This city is not worth it. I got myself this beautiful coffee and chocolate cake, as you can see. I finished my coffee. I'm still burnt about the 155 pounds that I had to pay for cab. Someone told me don't complain, but it's too expensive guys, too expensive. Taking courses as you can see, still at the airport. This is the coffee shop. This is how I look when I study. <laughs> Just dropped my baggage. I'm gonna say goodbye to my Cafe Nero. I'm gonna go to departure as you can see, it's over there. That's it. I'm waiting for my Mauritius flight. As you can see that one, and it's, it's very advanced. I like the infrastructure and everything. Not too shabby for first time in London. So finally connecting to Mauritius. That's my lane. A beautiful look of the Gatwick London airport. And that's my baby that I'm coming with to Mauritius with. Beautiful. I gotta go there and wait a little bit now. Just a note, all these tourists that try to come to Mauritius, it's beautiful that you have to understand they wait so many hours to come to your country. So Mauritians are really blessed guys, remember that. Like you have such a beautiful country, so take advantage of your beauty that you have. Guys, I'm really close to Mauritius as you can see, this is Madagascar. Yeah, only this much more. Papers that I have to feel, and this is the feeling as soon as you hit the ground. Airplanes, airport, Coors Mountain as you can see, I love that mountain. Feels like home guys, I feel fresh, really fresh off the boat, honestly. It's such a good feeling when you land to Mauritius because it's really truly the most beautiful island on the planet that we have. That's where you check in, I have to go that side actually. So that's it, checking is finally done. It's good to have a Mauritian passport. And this is what you see as soon as you finish your health registration. I'm gonna go get my baggage now. Getting my baggage actually. 
Guys, Mauritius sport smells like a beach. It smells like a beach, I swear to God. Hello, puppy. Hello. Uh, students everywhere. So alive. Cops everywhere. It's so nice, man. It's my first day here and I'm feeling so alive. Shopping with my dad. I bought these two beautiful stuff for $20. Nice. So that's the secret house of Mauritius, as you can see. That's my dad, by the way. That's the rental car we got. 600 Canadian dollars per month. As you can see, I'm driving and it's raining like cats and dogs. I love this kind of weather actually, but as long as it doesn't last long, you know, that's how I like it. I'm still driving, it's still, and the sun come out. That's amazing that it rains only for five minutes and then you have the sun out. And guys, that's a beautiful rainbow for you. As you can see after, uh, when the sun comes out and it's raining, the rainbow comes out, that's beautiful. I came to this mall, I don't know what you call it, I think that's the name. I'm going to my artisan coffee to see if it's open because that's where my productivity doubles every time I work from there. So yeah, let's go. And that's it, this is my office as you can see. It's called artisan coffee. I'll come here and make videos, plan my videos. And yeah, this is uh, my temporary office for my top fans guys.